go down. Just a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Don't know where the rest of the words. Good morning guys oh my gosh so I haven't rained consistently since Taylor proposed which was Christmas Eve of last year but it's beautiful outside so I thought I might run I only ran like probably not even a mile but oh my gosh it whipped my butt but guys welcome to our day feeling okay yeah I gotta do my breathing your lungs tight no it's nauseous no. Last night was rough. It was rough. Pretty rough. So, as you all know, I do insulin at night before my G-tube because I have CF related diabetes. I only take insulin at night before I get out of bed and before my G-tubes. And everybody knows that's probably a little dangerous because you do insulin before you go to bed. And if something happens and your blood sugar drops, you're probably going to coma because... If you don't take any sugar. Yeah, if you don't take any sugar, blood level, your blood sugar levels drop and if it gets low enough, you can go into a coma. Well, last night... And Taylor's usually very cautious about <coughs> his tube going and make sure it goes before he goes to bed and like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Last night, I took my insulin, hooked up my tube, and, you know, unlocked my tube so it would start dripping. I was laying in bed and it was like in 30 minutes to 45 minutes, so I couldn't get to sleep, but then I started feeling like weird. Like it's hard to, like, when you look at your blood sugar drops, you get kind of like fatigued and you get like kind of like this weird, it's hard to like describe it. It's, a, it's like a relaxed feeling. But I was like, I don't know. I was like, why do I feel like this? And then after like 10 minutes of feeling like that, I was like, oh crap. I turned on the light and my tube was dripping. So I gave myself insulin and then essentially did nothing for an hour. So my blood sugar was dropping because I wasn't getting any sugar intake. So I freaked out, I jumped up, ran in the kitchen, chugged like I heard, I heard, three I heard. sodas. Yeah, I was freaking out because like I really, I felt really bad. Like I started getting cold sweats, like I was sweating. Yeah, I touched. And it was like 60 degrees in here probably. Yeah, I touched his forehead and it was like a sticky cold sweat. Yeah. Fingers. And like, so I drank, I just sort of like chugged three sodas, and it was probably overdoing it by a lot. I could have probably just drank one, but I was freaking out. So I drank three sodas, and then I started eating, uh, we have those fruit gummies. I ate like 12 packs of those. And then I opened up some cookies, um, some, you know those, uh, uh, Samo some, some, some Samoas. Samoas cookies I opened up those and I ate like a dozen of those like 15 minutes went by and I started feeling better like my feet it was weird like my feet my legs were tingly and yeah I was I was freaking smooth out so anyways 15 minutes goes by and I started feeling better but then the nosh nausea hit me I felt so so gross. He's I'll, been burping all morning. Yeah, I wanted to throw up. If it wasn't because of low blood sugar, I now I wanted to throw up because I had just my stomach full of crap. But after probably what 30 minutes, I felt better, and then you know I we went to bed and but yeah, that was our night. We are about to head to um, Blue Clash Blue Shield for Taylor's insurance. Um, we gotta get some things figured out about that. 
Meanwhile, I'm uploading the vlog. And Taylor is doing his breathing. Reminiscing outside the window. <laughs> Taylor's lungs have been kind of up and down lately, so yeah, we're making sure that he does his breathing treatment every morning and every night. Let's figure out this insurance stuff. Well, that was a fail. Apparently, they're not the same company. Taylor has Florida Blue and this one's the Tennessee one, so they couldn't help us, so we have to call them and figure it out. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out the best option for myself because my insurance plan has increased like $250, and I have a pre-existing condition, so I'm pretty dependable on insurance. You know, I just, $250, that's a lot of money a month. <sighs> Our healthcare is so messed up. What I don't get is that, like, you have CF, but then, but you have to pay for it. Well, no, it's just the way it is. It's a business. Florida insurance companies are business, and they have to make money to sustain themselves. I mean, it's every every everybody's health plan in Florida is going up, but. The plan I was on had one of the highest increases. First lady was super unhelpful. Second guy, Brian, you are awesome. Thank you for helping us. Yeah, he That's knew what he nice. was talking about. Yeah. You have to work your way up with those people. This is what happens when daddy sees a cat. <laughs> Johnny, what are you doing? Do you see a kitty? <laughs> It went away. Scared you scared it, it. Happy Halloween, by the way, guys. Happy Halloween. We are gonna go to hang out with Cal and Sam again. Just a spoonful of sugar, mix the medicine, go down the medicine, go down the medicine, go down. Just a spoonful of sugar, mix the medicine, go down. Don't know where the rest is. We hope you had a really good Halloween from Mary Poppins and the Chimney Sweeper. Chim, 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 what was his name chim, again? Bart. 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 Was it Bert or Big Bart? Bart or Bert? Bert. Yeah. Bert. 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 Thank you for joining our day today. Well, guys, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye.